the Rito Street McDonald's is closing. <laughs> did you know this already? I did. Okay. Come April, they've chosen not to renew their lease. It's a fairly, and this is actually, I believe it was in the Ottawa Citizen that I was just reading. They used the term the infamous Rito Street McDonald's and the notorious Rito Street McDonald's. Yeah, it's both of those things, it is. I think. Now, you're you're born and raised in this yeah. area. I'm I'm transplanted here, but I've certainly had my own run-ins with the Rito Street McDonald's. Were you a loyal, like when I would go out, especially because... I'm not, I'm, we just talked about it. I'm not a club guy. I'm a pub bar kind of guy. I would be coming from the Highlander, which is right there, right? The Dubliner, uh, maybe the Heart and Crown, these sorts of places. And at one or two in the morning, when last call is it there, before I jump in a cab to go home, I want some fucking McNuggets right Fuck now, yeah. right now. And McNuggies. It, you'd go in there and it would be busier than whatever bar you had just been in. Were you a loyal Visitor? I wasn't a loyal visitor because no. I never really, I never lived that close to that part of the town. No. Part of town. And I never, like you said, I'm, I'm not like, I was never a big like market guy. Okay. Yeah. But I certainly have been there. <laughs> yeah. I certainly have been drunk in the market at the weird hours <laughs> in my, you know, misspent youth and right. early adulthood. So yeah, I, I have. And actually what, as, as a reporter for the Ottawa Sun, which I was before I started my my current job seven or so years ago, yeah. um, I definitely had to go there twice for different things, like <laughs> like like some big fight or you know a, someone died close by. Like there was always something crazy, like either right in there or like McDonald's adjacent. There was always McDonald's like it was just if there was this area around it that was that's a term that a, needs to be used more in real a estate. McDonald's adjacent. <laughs> I would buy that. Yeah, exactly. Man. Um, yeah, so I've been there. It's it's a it's, it's a, a scene, interesting. Man. Like it's a fascinating place. Like you talk about places like Vegas where you just want to go and like people watch. <laughs> yes. Rito Street McDonald's is and almost was like was now as of April. Yeah. I don't want to say I'm sad because I don't think we're gonna miss it's it. It's a landmark though. It is a landmark. Like maybe it should become a heritage building. Right, exactly. But they do reference in this article in 2013, maybe the most famous video to ever Was that the monkey one? Um there's two people fighting. And then someone pulls a raccoon. It was the raccoon, yeah, yeah, not a monkey. Monkey's Ikea. <laughs> right. Right. I'm mixing up my crazy <laughs> retail fast food stories. Um, yes, the raccoon in the McDonald's. That was... I and mean, this is all like late night at McDonald's. There's a brawl going on and somehow that's not the craziest thing that's happening. Did they ever get deep McDonald's. down to that? Like into that? Like was not it, in this Was article. it like her own like domesticated no raccoon <laughs> or like because if it was a wild raccoon like you're risking like a lot of rabies oh, and shit man. for like just like you're uh, already risking that just being in there a lot of different <laughs> <things>. <laughs> so, so many <laughs> things you could catch pre even pre-covid uh, uh it, it was a scene and i can remember going in there a few times like i said coming out of different bars or whatever and like you open the door and it it's every bit the bar you just laughed right yeah and, and you're gonna be standing in line for however long um you know, and you're going to try and catch a cab afterwards from yeah, outside like, that See, I, I always, I like to think I was a bit, always a bit sm ahead of the game and yeah. smarter. Like, I didn't usually want to get food from a place where I knew everyone else who was drunk and hungry like <sighs> myself was. I was new in town, man. I didn't know any better. You got, see, like Montreal, like I've been to Montreal so many times, like there's different spots, right? Yeah. Like after the bars close that you want to get a snack, you don't all have to go to the same spot. Nope, it's true. And I generally avoid places that might lead me to being involved in some sort of gang fight. Yeah. Or group, you know, brawl of any kind, or raccoon. But you got someone dragging you around who wants uh, wants street meat at two in the morning. So <laughs> that that would he that who shall remain. <laughs> he knows who he is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and he'll be in here again soon enough. Maybe we'll ask him about it. Then. Another friend of the show. Exactly. Um, yeah, man. To me, it's it's a bit of a loss to the city. And they they talked about, uh, you know. They did ask at one point, hey, could you just crank down the hours? Because it was a 24-hour location, which was the, the, the draw, right? That was the whole appeal. And uh, they they started closing at 10 p.m., which hurt their business in a big way. Because look, all those people in there buying late night quarter pounders, it adds up. And then, you know, we have a pandemic. Uh, before that, Rideau Street is torn up twice, once for the subway, once to redo all the curbs. I think they widened. The street a bit there, um, then the whatever you want to call it there, the Freedom Convoy. Oh. It hasn't been a great couple of years for that location, plus the bad press McDonald's. I guess we shouldn't be shocked that they're pulling out, but uh, I'll be curious to see what ends up in there next. Harvey's? Sure. 
a little late night BK. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not going to be a 24 hour uh, fast no, food joint. Probably not, but uh, it was probably going to be me. like a spinning gym or some uh, no. thing that we That'd won't ever go to. Significantly less busy. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know what? Um, it's a loss because to me, that's a city landmark. That is, uh, it's one of those things you tell your, hey, you gotta, at least once in your life, you gotta visit that. We Rito should start Street a petition. McDonald's. Save the Rito Street. <laughs> Protect the Rito Street McDonald's <laughs> at all costs. Yeah, you got my signature. Or turn it into like a raccoon sanctuary. That'd be funny. <laughs> That'd be alert, like a pet store. Yeah. <laughs> or just like animals, that, like wild animals that are found that need somewhere to go to yeah, get yeah. rehabilitated. I like it, man. Uh, you got a big heart. I, I like sh- that. Thank you. Yeah, it's probably from a raccoon bite. <laughs> enlarged. It's dangerously, yeah, exactly. dangerously yeah. enlarged.